Mortal Man by Jeremy Loops. Capo Fret 4. Okay, make sure your capo is on, otherwise it's not going to work. And make sure your PDF is in front of you. Now, this is a really, really cool song. It's a really easy song. And uh, the rhythm is going to be something like this. So let's just get that rhythm under wraps first. And then we can add the song on and uh, put the chords in. See how it goes. Slow motion. Very, very easy rhythm pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you want to put a little bit of an accent on the two and the four. So go a little bit louder with your strumming on your second beat and your fourth beat. So it's one, two, four, one, two, three, four. Now, slow motion. Watch my fingers. I'm not using a pick for this one. I'm going to go for the opening first beat. I strum from the bass note. Now, on your PDF file, the bass note is the note that's marked with a blue dot. So for C, it's the fifth string. But I don't just strum the fifth, I strum the fifth and the fourth to get a slightly fuller sound. And for the rest of the two and three and four and I strum all five strings. So slow motion. Okay. One and two and three and four and. You can see it up close again there. Get a bit closer into the view there. And watch the movement. It's a little bit of wrist and a bit of fingers as well. So it's not only wrist because then I've got a big movement. It's a finger and wrist because then I get a larger sweep much faster for the rhythm and here goes one two three and four and one two and three and four and for the G my bass notes on the sixth string so I'll play from here one two three and four and one two and three and four and A minor from the fifth one two and three and four and one two and three and four and and then the F major seven there's two ways to play it the way I've shown is going to be like this it's a nice easy one. It sort of looks like C, but with fingers two and three on the wrong strings. And your first string must be open. So we don't need that flat finger that normally catches us over there. Okay, it makes the song a lot more easier to play. Your F major seven. And if you do this one from the fourth string. If you play the other one I mentioned, which isn't on the page, you can also play F major seven like this. So what's happened there is the ring finger has come up a string and the pinky underneath it. And the only advantage of that is it gives you a slightly fuller sound. It sounds pretty sweet. Now, I'm going to play along with the original track. So you're going to hear Jeremy kick into gear now from the YouTube channel. And I'm going to strum along with it. And it's going to work really, really well. It sort of repeats itself the whole way through. Okay, check this out. Song's going to start. Okay, I'm going to catch the next cycle through and you pick it up with it. One, two, three, and four, and we step down in the morning, roll the line beneath the way. Fired off a warning, though the line was really your ring. Stick your head out, it's counting me when you're falling down. Don't give up on what we got. Now, what's quite cool about this song, though, is that your verse and your chorus got the same chords. <laughs> okay, so it makes it a lot easier. But in the bridge, it's going to be an E minor. But we'll look at that for the second video. So I'm just going to go through to the chorus. I'm going to rewind a little bit on the YouTube. So we're going to hear the end of the verse. And we pick, pick up together then on Hold My Hand, Nothing I Will Change, The Mortal Man, for the chorus. And we can play along together. Okay, I'll count us in there as well. Here we go. Give me what you can give now. I hear you calling. She said, Hold my hand. much a song it's a really nice song i hope you got the rhythm going i hope you got the chords going for those that like using a pick pick is now in hand it's still going to sound the same but i find i have to get a much wider sweep with the pick 
for this specific style of strumming. So um, even though, as you know, I normally always do these a pick, there are one or two exceptions, this is one of them. And the pick also gives a harder sound. If you listen to the sound here. Now put the pick down, listen to the difference. So for this song, it's much more gentle, much more flowing. It seems to sound nicer for this song, strumming with the fingers. Just a suggestion, but I hope it works for you. Okay, I'll see you shortly, video number two, and I'll show you no E minor. Thank you.